Okay, so the October Apple event just concluded, and we basically got everything we were expecting. The new HomePod Mini, the iPhone 12s, and the iPhone 12 Pros. In this video specifically, I'll be talking about the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Mini. I'll basically tell you all the new features of the phones and things that you should know about them. So without further ado, let's get started. So this year we have an all new yet kind of old design on the iPhone 12s, but many people have been asking for this. And whenever I say old, I just mean that it's pretty similar to the iPhone 4, 4S, 5, and 5S because those phones are more like bricks with their sharp edges instead of the more rounded edges on the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro. Like many modern flagships, the iPhone 12 is basically a glass sandwich with aluminum rails. But however, the iPhone 12 Pros on the other hand have stainless steel rails. The glass on the front and back of the iPhone 12 is called ceramic shield glass. And basically the way this works is that the phone has nano ceramic crystals that form on the glass. And this basically allows for better scratch resistance and up to four times better drop protection. When compared to the iPhone 11, the 6.1 inch iPhone 12 is 11% thinner, 15% smaller, and 16% lighter. The phone itself comes in two different sizes, the standard 6.1 inch iPhone 12 and then the iPhone 12 mini which is 5.4 inches. And mini is actually a pretty popular name in Apple devices these days like the iPad mini, Mac mini, the HomePod mini, and now the iPhone 12 mini. Both these phones will also come in five different colors, black, white, product red, green, and blue. The displays on the iPhone 12 and 12 mini are practically the same other than the major difference of the size. As I said, there's two variations, 6.1 inch and 5.4 inches. Both the devices have a Super Retina XDR display, which is OLED. It's still sadly 60 hertz with a contrast ratio of a million to one. It also has a sustained max brightness of 625 nits with a peak max brightness of 1200 nits. And this is a pretty big deal because last year on the iPhone 11, we only had an LCD display. So it's nice to see that they're putting more expensive panels and displays into the less expensive iPhone 12 and 12 mini. So one thing they talked on for quite a while on stage is 5G. But before I talk about 5G on the iPhone 12, let me just quickly explain what 5G is and the two different types of 5G. So the two different types are millimeter wave and sub six. So millimeter wave is basically the fast 5G or the thing that most of the carriers talk about when they're boasting their gigabit speeds. And while this is miles faster than the current LTE 4G, it still has its downsides. First of all, all the waves are so small that they can't pass through buildings or other objects such as trees. Also, you can't be super far from a tower as the waves cannot travel long distances. So basically, if you want to use millimeter wave 5G, you have to be in direct line of sight of a tower. You basically have to be able to see it with your eyes and only then it'll actually work. And even if you get this to work and you're standing directly underneath the tower, it's still not that viable as a solution as your phone's going to overheat and the battery's going to drain really fast. The other type of 5G is sub 6, and this is basically the opposite of millimeter wave. While it is a little bit slower, but still faster than 4G LTE, it has way better range and better connection. Sub 6 is the type of 5G that most people will experience first, as it's more accessible and it's probably cheaper for carriers to put out. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, let's come back to the iPhone 12. Every single model in the iPhone 12 lineup, meaning the iPhone 12 mini, iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max support both millimeter wave and sub six. One very important thing is that only the Verizon and AT&T versions of the iPhone 12 and 12 mini start at the base prices. This means that only if you buy it from Verizon or AT&T, you'll be paying $699 for the iPhone 12 mini or $799 for the iPhone 12. If you get it unlocked from Sprint or T-Mobile, you're gonna have to pay $729 for the 12 mini or $829 for the 12. Another thing I spent a lot of time on stage talking about is the new camera systems. So the 12 megapixel ultra wide has an aperture of 2.4 and a field of view of 120 degrees. The 12 megapixel wide on the other hand has an aperture of 1.6. This basically means that the sensor can allow a lot more light in as the iris itself is physically bigger. The smaller the f-stop, the larger the iris and thus allowing for better bokeh and better low light shots. The front camera is a 12 megapixel f2.2 lens hosted in the notch along with the other depth sensors for face ID. One thing that I think is pretty cool is the fact that all the cameras this year including the wide, ultra wide and the selfie camera have night mode and deep fusion. The A14 bionic chip also helps with the new smart HDR3 which basically allows all parts of the image to be better exposed. 
In terms of video, the larger aperture on the wide lens allows for better low light videos. Along with that, you get night mode time lapse, which basically I guess takes a photo every so often and compiles it into a video using night mode. We also get 10-bit 4K HDR recording with Dolby Vision on all cameras, yes, including the selfie camera across all new iPhones. And while this is completely unnecessary, Apple just wants to flex the performance of their A14 Bionic chip. The last thing I want to talk about is the new MagSafe chargers and accessories. And these basically hope to solve the one problem with wireless charging. The fact that the phone has to be perfectly aligned on the wireless charging pad. With the MagSafe chargers, there's basically magnets on both the phone and the charger itself. This is like the Apple Watch, where the magnetic charger basically snaps onto the back of the Apple Watch. The magnets on the back of the phones can also be used for accessories such as cases and magnetic wallets. And all these can work together too, with the MagSafe case on your phone and the MagSafe wallet on the MagSafe case. The new charger also allows for 15 watt fast charging across all new iPhone models, while the current Qi standards only allow for 7.5 watts on the current iPhones. But not to mention the new iPhone 12s can still support Qi wireless charging. But my favorite thing about this is that the new MagSafe chargers will work with the old iPhones starting from the 8 series and the new MagSafe charger will also work with the AirPods and AirPods Pros that support wireless charging. The MagSafe charger will cost about $40, which in my opinion is still pretty good for any wireless charger by today's standards. And as we all already knew that the new iPhones will not ship with a charging brick or wired earpods in the box. Apple saying this is for the environment, as it's supposed to basically counteract the pollution 450,000 cars put out every single year. As a result of this, the iPhone boxes will also be a lot slimmer now, allowing for less damage to the environment, or at least that's how Apple says it. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video talking about the iPhone 12 and 12 mini. The iPhone 12 will go on pre-order for $799 on October 16th, while the smaller 12 mini will go on sale for $699 on November 6th. Tell me in the comments how you like this video and what you think about the new iPhones. Also tell me some ideas for future videos. I'm thinking about doing an iPhone 11 versus iPhone 12 video comparison. So hit the like for that and also tell me in the comments if you want to see that. As usual, make sure to like, share, and obviously subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you know whenever I upload a new video. You'll want to make sure you subscribe because we're still expecting a November event from Apple and that'll basically cover the AirPod Studio and Apple Silicon Max. Anyways, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter for updates on my channel and updates in the tech world itself. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.